Hello, my name is Nancy Strickland and in the next seven minutes I'm going to show you how you can use audio and video media resources in your Windows Phone 7 Silverlight applications. It's very easy to add media to a Windows Phone 7 app using the media element control. It can hold a video or an audio clip and it has built-in properties to control the volume, uh, to handle the playback, stopping and starting and pausing and seeking. You can also work with orientation and some other manipulations. And now let me talk about some of those properties of the media element. First, the stretch property. This applies to video only because it refers to how the content relates to the size of the control. Here are the possible settings. None means that the content will keep its original size so the control may not be entirely filled. In the uniform setting, the content is resized to fill the control as much as possible without losing the original aspect ratio. So that could also mean that the whole control isn't filled, even though the image will be bigger. This is the default setting. Fill means that the content will be resized to fill the whole control, even if it means distorting the contents because the aspect ratio isn't right. See how everything here looks longer and narrower than it really is? And the last setting, uniform to fill, means that the aspect ratio is kept correct, but the whole control will be filled, even if that means that some of the content has to be cut off. See how now some of the picture on the sides is gone? In general, properties can be set either in C-sharp code or in the XAML, but there are some properties that can only be set for XAML, like the projection property of the media element. That lets you present an image as though it were in a three-dimensional space by setting X, Y, and Z coordinates. So this XAML here sets the X, Y, and Z rotations to create the effect that you see here. Some videos look better if you hold the phone sideways. On the emulator, you can simulate turning the phone sideways by using the toolbar that appears when I hover my mouse just outside the upper right-hand corner of the emulator. But clicking the rotation button here just gives you a sideways picture unless you specifically set this page up to support rotation by setting its supported orientation property to portrait or landscape, which means that the phone will detect that it's been rotated and will automatically orient the user interface like this. The build action property for a resource says how that resource will be handled in the build. Media resources in a phone project can have a build action type of resource or content. Resource means to compile the media file into the assembly and content means add it to the application, the, the zap file only. And now I think we're ready for a demo. I'm going to start a new app using the basic Silverlight phone template which I got by doing some preparation which is covered in the Getting Started video that's part of this series on MS Dev. First I'll import some media resources. Right click, add, existing item, and browse for my media files. I have a video and an audio. I want to make sure that the build action for both is content. Now I'll drag a media element onto the design surface, resize it, and set its source to my video. I'll check to make sure its stretch property is uniform. Now I'll drag a button onto the design and double click to get its handler. I'll paste in some code to turn the button into an on-off toggle. I'm using the playing property to see if it's currently on, and if so, I'll pause it. Otherwise, I'll start it playing. Now I'm going to run it. There it is. I can click to pause it and click to continue. Now let me show you the orientation problem. I'll come over here and click rotate and you can see that it doesn't do what I want it to do. It doesn't reorient itself. So I'll fix that next. I'm going to minimize this, but not close it, and then stop debugging. To change the supported orientation, I'm going to go to the XAML and find the supported orientation property and change it to portrait or landscape. Now let me run it again.
and you see now it rotates correctly. Now I'll minimize again and stop debugging. I'll select the media element again and change its source to my mp3 file. And now I want to show you a change in the C sharp code. I'm going to change pause to stop. Clicking the button will stop the playback and when I click it again it'll restart from the beginning. You see? That's been a quick 7 minute look at using media with Windows Phone 7. I'll put a copy of the code up on my blog for download and as I post new videos I announce them on Twitter. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.